circles in minecraft yeah right and i am doing a face reveal tomorrow fake news these days gosh wow another wonderful day ahead in the life of me myself and i sub zero x to bite has aoken once more and i am ready to give my all to the world of minecraft today so taking my stuff out and i am ready to conquer another day wait what is this what is going on here? Where are all of the cubes? No way no way no way Jose. There is no way that that news flash from last night was real. Oh my god this is really bad right now. Okay what can I do to fix this? I really cannot do anything to fix this right now. Okay this is actually like insanely bad. What can I do now? There is just nothing that I want more in life than all of those little blocks that I love so much. How can the world of Minecraft do this to me? And how on God his green earth did this ever happen? I cannot believe any of this. I must be dreaming right now. That is it. I must be dreaming and I must be ready to wake up any second now because this is the worst nightmare that I have ever had in my entire life and I am kidding you not right now. Oh wow this is really bad. Wait how is this even breaking apart? There is not digging holes anymore. Right now all I can do is dig some puddles or whatever you even want to call something like that. Can someone please explain to me what is going on here because I am just out of it right now. This cannot be real. Can someone slap me real quick? No way no one can slap me because I live all on my own. Oh my god why is someone putting me through all of this? This has to be the worst day that I have had in a very long time. I mean I thought I was on top of the world when I found this plot of land right here. And I could build another house in a way more secluded area. And now this happens. So all of the good stuff that I have done throughout the week is just being obliterated right now by this event. I just cannot believe my eyes right now. I mean my eyes are not used to the circles and roundness of everything. I am actually getting a headache right now. Wow I cannot believe that this is happening to me right now. After all of that good karma that I build up throughout the week. This water even seems weird. Every single little bit of land in here is looking so unnatural. Or just way too natural maybe. I am not sure which word I am going for on this one. But what I do know is that I do not like this for one bit. So I am done right now. I think that I am just going to be quitting all of this and switching back to Roblox. I mean come on you guys. Literally the day that I'm feeling really great and I have built my house in such a secluded place. Today was to be the perfect day, but all of that changed when the Circle Nation attacked. Oh never mind that is the avatar of the Legend of Ung again. I have to stop thinking about that show that much. But that is besides the point, because I am still in a state of deep distress because of all of this. There is just no way that I'm able to fix all of this in one day. I mean I could just start collecting dirt and start shaping everything back into a square but I do not even know if that is something that is actually doable. Because I have no idea how all of this happened in the first place man. This is weird. Even this cave is just looking way too round right now. This is not a cave anymore this is more like a tunnel right now. And I know that I do not like the sound of that. But would you just look at all of this? This is literally the strangest thing that I have ever seen. And not because it looks ugly or anything. But it is just like the way that everything is right now. At first glance everything is looking pretty normal. But the longer you stare at something that is when you really start noticing that there is something fishy going on right here. And that is what I do not like. Because it just feels like my eyes are being tricked or something but then again I am quite sure that all of this is just some really elaborate prank made by my dear friend Dennis who is probably still mad at me for that whole cat ordeal. And this might just be his way of getting back at me. That is just cruel man. I mean I can laugh about a prank and such when it happens to me. So when I get pranked. But this is not a prank anymore. 
This is just horrific to see. Someone really has got it in for me. I mean I do not really care about what is going on here. But I am just saying that I'm getting to the bottom of this. And by bottom I mean top sense I am going on top of a mountain right now. But after that I will have to get down to the bottom of the mountain so that will be the moment that I will be getting to the bottom of all of this. And of course by that I mean not just the bottom of the mountain but also the bottom of whatever is going on here because I just cannot take any of this right now. It is just really freaking me out and I do not like it when I am freaked out because I turn into a little bit of a drama queen but that might just be me. Leave me a comment down below if you think that I'm overreacting to all of this. And of course if you actually think that I'm a drama queen of some sort then you can leave that in the comments too because let's be honest here sometimes I really am a drama queen aren't I? Well not like as in a female but you get the whole point right? And if you start a discussion about this in the comments well wait would no way I am falling down what is happening to me all of a sudden. So I just dropped dead onto the cold hard floor after I did not see the edge of the cliff because all of the edges are gone right now. This is just too weird for me man. I mean I am a pretty weird guy but that has nothing to do with all of this. I mean I probably could get used to it someday. But I am not sure if that day will ever come. Just because I do not handle change all that well so I am pretty sure that this is going to be bothering me until the day that I end up getting some squared blocky stuff again. And I cannot wait for the day to happen because I am already sick and tired of all of these circles right now. It is just not the way Minecraft is supposed to be played and stuff etc. But what do we have here? Wait is this a legit cave right now? This looks so weird. It just looks like some random tunnel going to the end of the earth or something. I am not sure if I should be going in here right now. But I probably should because I am actually pretty curious about all of this and I am actually pretty sure that you guys are all curious as well so I hope that you appreciate me going in here because I am scared to death right now because I cannot see a thing in this dark hole. Man it is so dark in here I could probably just be walking into a wall right now and not even notice it for one bit. Why is all of this happening? you guys. I mean I have been a good boy throughout the last week right? I mean I have helped others. I have done nothing wrong. At least that I know of. Or at least what I would consider to be wrong. Wait a second what is that noise? Oh no way there are mobs coming at me right now. Alright sub you will be able to deal with these little guys right away and then you can go right back to fixing all of this right now so that we can finally get all of the circles over with. Because I do not like it for one single bit. I mean do you like this? If you are a Minecraft player then you certainly don't like this right? I mean how can someone like oh, this? Oh no they are kicking me in the butt right now and that is not what I want. Oh my lord I am dead again. Well well this circle life is not treating me well right now. My god why does all of this have to happen to me? I have done nothing wrong to nobody. And I am just a victim of something this stupid and I just cannot take the fact of how stupid all of this is. It is insane alright. I am just going to be exploring for a bit and while I do that I will tell you guys a quick story about my love for the blocked nature of Minecraft. So it pretty much all started out when I was a lot younger than I am right now. That sounded pretty correct. But I was starting to get into high school and all of that stuff. And basically what happened was that I had this friend of mine who was a couple of years older than me. Wait a second. Those are pigs. Oh my god little piggies what do you guys think about all of this? I do not like the circles at all right now. And I cannot be the only one who feels this way right. But okay I am getting sidetracked from my little story time rant. So what I was trying to say. So I had this friend who was a couple of years older than me. And he showed me this game that I had to be playing when I was becoming a freshman. So I was like, yeah sure install the game bro. And he did and he kind of showed me the ropes of it all. And I just fell in love with it. And this was like way back in the start of Minecraft. So it must have been around the beta or something I think. So I really fell in love with the game and I started exploring and stuff. And of course since Minecraft was still in beta. There was nothing to do except for surviving and building some houses and stuff. I mean you could not even go into creative mode. But still I love the fact that you could choose your own skin. And you could do whatever you want and build whatever you want. And basically everything around that time was just good. Life was good and I'm actually getting really nostalgic when I'm thinking back at that. But that was my little story time for today. And I hope that you guys like it when I tell you guys some non-fictional stories in some videos when there is time for that of course. And please let me know in the comments down below if you would want some more of these story times or if you would want me to just shut my mouth whole and keep fighting the circles in Minecraft. Which is fine by me of course. 
I mean you guys are the viewers and I am all about that viewer life so let me help you by you helping me helping you or something. But I think that I have sidetracked a little bit too much while doing that little bit of story time back there because I have no idea where I am going right now and it is starting to get sundown. So I am not sure what I am supposed to do right now but I think that I just should be following my best bet so that I can make sure that I get home safely. But right now I am just lost. I am wandering and I am lost and I am wondering how in the world this happened to me. I mean it is getting dark outside, and usually I want to be home before the sun goes down so that I can make sure that nothing freaky happens to me while I am outside. But I am lost so I guess that I'm not safe until I will find my home and get back into it in time to watch some darn adventure time. But where should I be going because I have no clue right now. Everything just looks the same and nothing looks like any place that I'm familiar with. So I am not sure what to do. Maybe I should call someone but I am all alone in here. Like a real Minecraft pro. Why do I have to be so stubborn and not do anything according to plan? I mean I was not supposed to go out alone like that when I am upset about something. This was just stupid to do on my end. But okay I think that we can all agree that I intend to do a lot of stupid. Like very 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 stupid things from time to time to forget what I just so guys my camera cut off through the night because the battery died luckily it saved all of the footage and it is charging right now in the sun because I have got this little solar panel thing on the top of my camera which will provide it with some juice once I am out of said juice wait a second what is behind that little hill right here maybe it's more circles get it no well I do so I win Oh my god it is a freaking ravine. Okay we will have to watch out around this part of the area because this could end up really bad for me because I am not anywhere near qualified to start skydiving without a parachute. But then again I do not think that a lot of people are very good at skydiving without a parachute because you know it would be kind of dangerous to do in my opinion. But you know, I think that people should be doing whatever they would want to do. But I am not going to risk my life on something like that there. I am just going to be digging a little canal right here for two reasons. Well reason 1 is a secret and I will tell you that once I am done digging the canal and reason 2 is just for exploring reasons. I have no idea how all of this works right now since nothing is squared anymore. So I will have to do something with my time and I will have to do something with this right here. Because if I will have to learn to live with all of this then I would better be prepared for everything. So right now I can see how the water works in a combination with the other stuff. I mean I have got a lot of stuff to do. But like I said, as of right now, at least I think that all of this will be permanent, so like I said I will have to learn to live with all of this before I can do something again. So I do not hope that all of this will remain permanent. But what I do hope is that we are ready to do some more stuff right now. Because I am still figuring out how everything works and I just do not know what to do except for learning myself some new cool things. So what okay now I will start to get into the reason why I would want to build something like this. I mean a canal running into a big ravine does not seem like the best thing to do. And actually I think that this is more of something like a canyon than a ravine but that does not matter right now so what i was saying regarding the tunnel or canal or waterway whatever you want to call it and whatever floats your boat i really do not care at all right now but what i do care about is checking the canyon or ravine out because i am curious about how all of this stuff actually works around here not that nothing is squared anymore and anything is just curved and circular and stuff so i want to know how the canyon behaves when it is more curved instead of it being flat and that kind of stuff so since I want to see all of that for myself I will have to get down there. Now as you might be able to see, I am not carrying around a big freaking ladder. So I will have to finesse my way down there somehow. And I am using the power of water to get myself down there without having to do a free fall for a couple hundred feet or something into oblivion and of course without a freaking parachute. So that is not happening. So I am almost done and now we can check this out. It looks clear but that is judging from all the way up here. I mean I have basically no clue what is down there. Could be anything you know. You never know. Oh my god I almost just fell into that well right there and there is a lot of lava which is not nice. I mean you would not want to be falling into the lava when Minecraft was still squared and I would also rather not fall into that lava when the world of Minecraft is curvy and stuff. I mean I guess it is not too bad when you consider how great some kinds of curves are. I mean I love curves a lot. For example one of my favorite things in life is a curved television which is kind of great right? and it is curved. So first you had a flat TV which was flat and squared and now you have got a curved TV. 
I mean I had to adjust to the TV as well. But in the end it is just all great and you are able to love life like no one before you. So that will be the same for these curves. If they go away then I am a happy camper. But if they do not go away, then I will adapt to them. Like a Minecraft pro, 